Inspect the impeller and replace it if cracked or badly worn. Inspect the impeller and shaft threads for dirt or damage and clean or dress the threads as required. The shaft and impeller threads must be completely clean before reinstalling the impeller. Even the slightest amount of dirt on the threads can cause the impeller to seize to the shaft, making future removal difficult or even impossible without damage to the impeller or shaft. Install the full set of impeller shims provided with the seal and screw the impeller onto the shaft until it is seated against the seal. Continue to screw the impeller onto the shaft. This will press the stationary seat into the seal plate bore. A firm resistance will be felt as the impeller presses the stationary seat into the seal plate bore. As the stationary seat becomes fully seated, the seal spring compresses and the shaft sleeve will break the nylon shear ring. This allows the sleeve to slide down the shaft until seated against the shaft shoulder. Continue to screw the impeller onto the shaft until the impeller, shims, and the sleeve are fully seated against the shaft shoulder. A clearance of 25 to 40 thousandths of an inch between the impeller and the seal plate is recommended for maximum pump efficiency. Measure this clearance and add or remove impeller adjusting shims as required. If the rotating assembly has been installed in the pump casing, this clearance may be measured by reaching through the priming port with a feeler gauge. For more information on pump hydraulics, equipment, or application engineering, watch Gorman Rupp's YouTube channel and visit us at grpumps.com.